Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com If you haven't already please click that button and subscribe to our channel As you can see and on the menu today I'm going to make a really nice courgette or zucchini and mushroom curry It's vegan, it's vegetarian, it's really healthy, doesn't take long, let's go and do it Okay let's get started on this one, um, pretty simple I've got a pan here with some oil in, I'm using a sunflower oil but you can use any oil that you like I'm going to just drop in a little bit of whole garam masala. Today I'm just going to use a little bit of cinnamon, cardamom, and some cumin seeds. So let's just drop them in. Now we need to just cook these in that oil just for, you know, a few seconds, maybe sort of 20 seconds or so. They'll infuse their oil and uh, give it a great flavour. Then we'll add some more stuff. So there we go. They've roasted really nicely in that oil. At this point, I'm going to drop in some onions. I've cut this onion really small. I'm now going to add some garlic ginger paste. Nice, hefty, large teaspoon of that. That's a 50-50 mix of garlic and ginger. And already... We've got that amazing aroma coming from this pan. Now I'm going to go in with some powders. As you can see here, I've got a few little powders. Let's drop them in. About half a teaspoon or so of cumin powder, coriander powder, turmeric, and chilli powder. I always call those the big four. I mean, you could use your own blend if you like, or you know, some pre-made curry powder, up to you. I just prefer them like this. This is looking absolutely wonderful. And as this happens, I've got a little bit of tomato. Again, cut that nice and small. And I'm gonna get that in. There we go. Now we're going to cook that, just like that, for about four or five minutes, keep stirring it. Depending on how juicy those tomatoes are, I might get a nice little bit of masala or gravy out of that, which is what we want. If not, we might add a little touch of water, but let's see. So I'll be back you know, in a few minutes. Keep stirring, we want a kind of above medium heat. There we are. I've got a little bit of moisture out of mine, and that's kind of where I want to be, so I'm not going to add any water to that. If you need to, just add it. I mean, you, you might you only need to need a tiny splash anyway. At this point, we're going to add our two main ingredients, which are our zucchini or courgettes. As you can see, I've cut them like that, and you can cut them in rounds. Anyhow you like, particularly, it's up to you. Mushrooms. I've got some white mushrooms here, which I've just cut in slices. Now, we're going to give this a nice stir. Then... What's going to happen depending on your mushrooms mushrooms always give off a little bit of moisture some more than others so we're going to cover this but before i do that let me add a little bit of salt and then still on that kind of medium heat let's just cook these for about another four to five minutes and like I said, what should happen? We should get some moisture from our mushrooms. We'll be back then. Right, let's take a look. Let's get that lid off. A little bit of steam out. And there we have it. As you can see, I've got that moisture from those mushrooms. I'm now going to add some fresh chilli. That's up to you how much you put in. I've just put a couple of green One's in there, sliced up. We're going to finish this off now with some fresh coriander or cilantro. Give that a mix. You can turn off the heat now. You can check this for salt. I know it's going to be great. Those zucchini or courgettes are still going to have a little bite to them, which is how I like it. And that is a really simple... Vegan, vegetarian, 
healthy mushroom and zucchini or courgette curry or masala. Hope you enjoyed guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Lots of love. See ya.